hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video today is on this look right here and i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i liked doing it and yeah so if you want to see how i get this look then please keep on watching and let's go on to the video <laughs> Okay, so I've already done my face that includes foundation, primer, primer for the eyes, and a bronzer, and I did my eyebrows, of course. And now I'm going to go ahead and start the eyes because I just wanted it to be main focus on the eyes and not the face. So if you want a updated face routine, I will sure do it. I'll probably do it on my next video. But anyways, I'm going to be using the Morphe 350 palette because it's the only one I own. Um, and I love it. I'm totally in love with it that I use it every single day. And come on, how can I not use this beautiful palette? Like, look, look, just look, admire. So I'm going to go ahead and start by let me just put it this way because you might have the same palette too and that's what you came here for let me just stop talking um i'm gonna grab this shade right here and i'm gonna use this for a transition shade so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a brush and grab that shade and i'm gonna start and applying it like over here in my crease Blending the blending it out real good. Be sure to prime your eyes first, cause that's what I did. And this is just to give a little color in the back of what of what other you know for the other um, eyeshadows that we're gonna use. So, just like that. And then do the same thing on the other eye. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab another brush. And grab this one. No, wait. Uh, grab this one. Okay. And then I'm going to go and grab this orangey shade right here. And... This will give it a little bit more color. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on top of the other one. Just to give it a little bit more brightness. And color into the transition shade. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Which shade should I grab? I'm gonna grab a light brown. So let me see. Let me see. Decisions, decisions. Okay, we're gonna go step by step. So I'm gonna grab this one, which is a little bit darker. I don't know. I think they're about the same. These two. But hold on. Okay, let's just go on to this one right here and i'm gonna grab a different brush this brush this is from elf and i love this brush um super precise on sorry my hair is messed up and super precise on where i want the eyeshadow to be so again we're taking this one right here and focusing it on the crease again like this you know and taking it all the way over here, just lightly, you know. Do a very light hand on the brush, not super hard, you know. You could do like a little C shape like this. You see how it forms really nicely? If you do it very lightly, it like blends out a little bit more nicely. And also just grab a little bit of product because a little bit goes a long way. Just a little bit more. Focusing it on me here, over here. You see how it forms? They're really nice. 
nice blendable color which looks like you spend hours on blending which is probably true because <laughs> I'm still blending okay and now I'll do the same thing on the other side so very lightly very very creating a C shape bringing it over here and sorry my mouth is always open <laughs> when I blend I don't know and then go back just a tiny bit Focus it on here. Give the eyes a little bit more in depth. There you go. Now go back to the brush you used. I don't know. Was it on this one? It was probably on this one. And then blend out the edges real good. So it looks even better. Don't remember to blend out whatever you did over here too. And on the other side as well. Now I'm gonna bring a little bit even more in depth. And I'm gonna grab this one, this middle shadow. It's like a maroon kind of shade. And it's literally right in the middle. So another brush. And we're gonna do the same thing except bring it a little lower not up here just a little lower so like the darker you get the darker you go down you know what i mean and it forms a really nice like type of like ombre i don't know a nice um smooth look And bring it over here, don't forget. And the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, a shimmery eyeshadow. This one's really pretty. We all know if we all have this palette that this one is very shimmery and so is this one. You could either apply either one but since I want to go a little lighter on the eyelid I'm gonna go ahead with this one and grab a synthetic brush because it's better to use a synthetic brush when picking up eyeshadows like these so a synthetic brush is just these type of brushes that are not like fluffy at all so um you could go ahead and spray your um what's it called your brush your synthetic brush with any setting spray or you could just do it with fix plus if you have any or you could just wet your brush with water and then you know apply the eyeshadow um but since I don't have my Fix Plus around me, I'm going to go ahead and grab the setting spray just so I could give it a little bit of wetness. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup um, thing. And this should just, just give it a um, more, I don't know, brighter look or something. So let me get my mirror and there you go. Okay. And I'm going to just apply it. I like to apply it like this, like brushing it on. Because I feel like it gives it a little bit more intense look rather than just patting it, you know? And then do the same thing from the end all the way forward. This is just how I do it, you know? Everyone does it differently. 
and slowly just working your way up onto the eyelid picking a little bit more of that eyeshadow and you know just going all the way up to where you want it I want my whole eyelid to be covered in this so I'm just working my way up and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, huh, this color right here it's just the darkest brown there is and I'm gonna apply it on my outer B or you could do a C shape which is most likely what I'm gonna do so just doing a C shape at the end and this is a pencil brush so it's a little bit more precise than the other brushes I've used because it's pointy and it applies directly onto where I want it at and you could bring it over here depending on how dramatic you want your eye to be and slowly going inwards you know on top of that um, bright eyeshadow now I'm gonna go back to the fluffy brush that I used and blend it out so I won't look as harsh all right so I already did it on this side and just a little bit more okay and blend it okay so now after that is done as you see a little it gives a little bit more and that so it goes like you know darkest to lightest and stuff like that so now that we're done with that i'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my brow bone and i'm gonna use obviously a brighter brush for this and i'm gonna be using um this one right here so second shadow um from the white one and it's a little shiny so I like to apply it on my brow bone you know something little subtle since we have everything going on in the eyelid and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with a eyeliner with a wing I mean this is optional but you know for me it's a must so I love doing it and you could just apply some eyelashes if you want, but I'm going to go ahead. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I believe this is the first time I mentioned this on my channel, but yeah, it's time. Because a lot of people are asking me what eyeliner I use, and this is what I use. So this is in the shade of Black Noir, and it's matte and it'll last this super long. So yeah, let's get on to this wing. We are almost done, I promise. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I love this mascara. It's super nice. And I just love it. So I'm going to be applying it to my eyelashes, of course. Just my top lashes. Because we're going to be applying some fake ones. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what kind of lashes these are. I'm so sorry, but I don't remember. And I'm going to be applying them. I'm just going to quickly grab that light brown shadow. Grab a more um, angle fluffy brush. And apply it down here. So it won't look as, you know, simple and kind of blend in with the look. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my mascara again and apply that onto my lower lashes. And 
And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And... And I know I do the most with setting spray. Um, just do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my highlighter. I don't know what highlighter I should use, honestly. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Sephora Mion Baked Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Oh, mm hmm. I'm going to grab these both, or these three. I don't know. I'll just do it with a big fan brush. And kind of go like, like that. I don't know. It gives me a nice highlight. And then a little bit on my cubist bow. And then, what else? What else? Um, oh yeah. For my lips, I'm going to apply... Let's go ahead and apply Chi from ColourPop. And, sorry. Okay. I don't need a lip liner for this. Because I'm a pro like that, you know? I'm just kidding. There you go. And just let it dry. And I think we're done here. We are done with the makeup look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the look and you thought it was helpful in any way. Um, if you want me to do more looks on this 350 palette, please comment down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!